The Russia-Ukraine war. The war is not just a military battle, it is also a battle of wits. A conflict where both sides are using their intelligence and resources to outsmart the other. A new report has shed some interesting insights on this. It claims that Ukrainian hackers are honey-trapping Russian troops and enticing them into sharing details of their whereabouts. How are they doing this? Through Facebook. Take a look at this next report. Every war is fought on multiple fronts. It involves not just the use of force, but also unconventional tactics. Chief among them is honey trapping, a form of state espionage aimed at getting crucial information out by luring the enemy into romantic relationships. In the war between Russia and Ukraine, both sides seems to be excelling at it. According to a new report, Ukrainian hackers are creating fake Facebook profiles in order to lure Russian troops into sharing their locations. How exactly do they do this? Four simple steps. First, they create fake profiles of conventionally attractive women. Second, they use the fake profiles to befriend Russian troops. Third, they trick them into sending photos and personal details. Fourth, they use these details to geolocate the troops on ground. So how has the trick helped the Ukrainians so far? According to the report, the most noticeable honey-trapping feat was the bombing of a Russian base in Popasna, a quaint city in the Luhansk region. On August 14th, the Ukrainians blew up a military base here, which apparently belonged to the Wagner Group. How was this done? by catfishing and spying on a Russian war correspondent. According to the report, the correspondent had recently visited the base. He had then uploaded a photo of a signboard, which revealed the address of the nearest bomb shelter. Ukrainian hackers who had befriended the correspondent online used the photo to geolocate the base. The Ukrainians may have tasted success. But the Russians aren't far behind. Just last week, there were reports on how a Russian spy charmed her way into the NATO command. The spy in question posed as a socialite jeweler and befriended NATO employees over brunches. There's no data on how much information she was able to extract. This game of cat and mouse has been underway for quite some time. And it only goes on to reveal that this war may not end anytime soon. Bureau Report, We On, World is One. We On, World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.